Hi guys, it's Kate and welcome to my very very long awaited college decision reactions video. I have been thinking about making this video for literally since like junior year. I was like I can't wait for the day that I get to post this and the time has finally come and I'm so excited. I started filming this back in early October and it is now late March. I know you have absolutely no obligation to do this but you know if you feel willing to please don't skip the ads in this video because yesterday i was realizing how expensive college is and it kind of made me sad because it's just so financially straining and like of course like my parents want me to get the best education but at the same time you have to like think about other stuff because like i don't want them to sacrifice too much for me and it's just like it got kind of sad so i don't know okay anyways this is the beginning of the video we shouldn't be getting into that yet but you know try not to skip the ads when you watch my videos so that i can help them pay for college because I love them, okay? Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be showing my decision, reaction, and what major I did because I did different majors for almost every school because I just like didn't know what I wanted and my parents and I couldn't really agree on one. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And the first one is my state university. So today might be my first one. Let's see if it is. But this letter just came in from UH and it's my local university, my state university. Oh, I got in. I'm not really surprised though, so. So if you're a local resident to Hawaii, pretty much everyone gets in. So that's why my reaction wasn't that great because it just like wasn't that special. Like everyone gets in and I did a business major here. So next up is Loyola Chicago and I mostly just applied because a lot of my friends go to school in Chicago. So I kind of wanted to be in that area. I think I just got into college. So um, this is from Loyola Chicago and it says, congratulations, so pretty sure I got in. So, dear Kate, congratulations and welcome to your Loyola experience, class of 2024, blah, 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 blah. <gasps> I got the presidential scholarship, so I get $25,000 per year for four years. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Loyola U Chicago, for accepting me. And then came December 13th, which was the morning of my math final, but Fordham University came out. Okay, okay, so Izzy just texted me that Fordham decisions are out. She got in, and I'm gonna check now. Oh, okay, so I can't log in to see my decisions. Yeah, it's just not for incognito or something. Okay, I just can't log in. I'm gonna just try to like claim my account again. This is so fail, like why is this so hard? Oh, I did get a status update. I was logging into like the actual like student, so that's why I was seeing all this like parking stuff. Kate, welcome to Fordham University's class of 2024. It's with great pleasure, blah, 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 at Lincoln Center. That one's by Central Park and like the nice shopping mall. And then, please inform you that I got the Fordham scholarship for semi-finalists because I was national merit. And then it's an and oh, I got, Oh my gosh, I got full tuition. <laughs> I'm really excited, guys. <laughs> and shout out to Izzy for helping me find the portal because I was not on the right website at all. Guess what, I got full ride. Oh man, are you for real? Yeah, dude? no, I was on the wrong website. I'm really are excited. Are you for real? Jeez! It's kind of funny, I texted my dad that I got it and he said, congrats, but you won't go. He does not want me to go to Fordham because he thinks that it's like, I don't know, like the whole like big city, like New York City thing. He doesn't really vibe with that, but like I kind of vibe with that. So we'll see what happens depending on like if I get into the other like better schools. And my major for Fordham was economics. Next up is this little school called Wheaton. My best friend goes there, so that's pretty much the only reason why I applied. And my parents really liked it because it's very Christian and religious, but... I feel like it's a bit too small and not enough in the city for me. Okay, hi. So today I got this letter in the mail from Wheaton College. So uh, it's kind of big, so hopefully it's an acceptance. Okay, well, it says your journey begins now. Oh, yeah, I got 16,000, mom. I got it. Congratulations, you got look at her. Oh, Kim's here too. <laughs> They gave me $16,000 a year, which is a lot because their tuition, I think, is only 20 something thousand, so it's really, really affordable. The next day, Loyola Marymount came out. Hello, LMU came out like three hours ago, but I just realized, and I just finished my workout, so that's why, but. But. Got the family here, and now we're gonna check. <laughs> we go close well. Family. Okay, what do you think is gonna happen? 
Uh, fried. <laughs> oh, I got oh. it. Oh, I got it. I see done. some confetti. Some says drop down. Some says uh, drop down. Uh oh. There's no. Eighteen thousand. There's no scholarship. Oh, no scholarship. Does that mean I didn't get any? Don't know. No, wait, wait, wait a second. It says that scholarships come out in February, so I find out then. Oh. Um, okay, so we'll get to the money in February. Hello. So I just got home. It is February 4th and my financial aid thing just came in from Loyola Marymount. Oh, okay. So I just got 16,000 for the Arupe scholarship and 2,000 for the early action award. So it is still very, very expensive for me to attend. <laughs> Dad, hello. You look so happy. I thought that I would have gotten more because I spent uh, so much time writing that essay and was it really worth it? I don't know, but maybe I yeah. learned new things about myself by writing that essay. And I guess writing is good for you because... Okay, yeah, let's just stop talking. So I ended up getting $18,000 a year and my major was Applied Information Systems Management which is basically kind of like business and comp sci combined. And then while I was pretty bedridden from the flu, Northeastern came out. Guys, guys, okay, sorry I'm sick but I was just sitting here and then I got the email that Northeastern came out and I have gotten the flu so that's why I just have been out of it and I totally forgot that it was going to come out today but oh my gosh, it's Jack! I'm excited. Mommy, do you want to come? Oh, I got it! Yay. Oh, yay! Yay! Right. Thank Lord. We don't know. Oh my goodness, I'm smiling, by the way. Congratulations, kids! <laughs> oh my goodness! You have 14,000 for your freshman year, and then 7,000 per full semester during your... Oh, so it's 14,000 a year. This year. Yay! Wait, this one's actually like one it's of the colleges that I wasn't sure if I was gonna get in. So, I was Yay! sure you were gonna get it. Really? Thank, thank Lord. Well done. Okay, Good I go job. <laughs> okay, bye, mommy. Bye. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. No kiss. We sickos. My dad might get the flu too. By the way, I applied to comp sci for this major. I didn't even know. So then after this one was really really unexpected. Like I didn't even know that. The decisions were coming out but I woke up from my flu induced slumber and my friend Brandon told me that USC scholarship notifications had gone out and so I went to check that hello friends good morning today is a very important morning also if you see this please don't mind the indentation on my head I just yeah <laughs> and I'm sorry if my reactions are always really good but okay today I'm reacting by myself because my parents went to go grocery shop and I'm Ooh, I feel like when I'm with my parents, I don't really talk about it, but this one especially, ooh, I am nervous, but law of attraction, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get the scholarship. There is a new status, what do you click? Oh my god, oh my god, I got it. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I was gonna cry. Ish. I look so ugly. Oh my god. So dear Kate, congratulations. I'm pleased to offer you admission to the University of Southern California as part of the entering class of fall 2020. So basically how that works is in late January, they notify a few kids. I think it's a few thousand out of like 40 something thousand. So the acceptance rate is less than 3%. And if you don't get in right now, like don't worry about it because it's really likely that you'll just get the notification during the spring in March. But I was super, super grateful that I had gotten it. I applied to Marshall, the business school, so I'm really excited that I get to go to business school. Oh my gosh. So in the beginning of my college application process, my parents really, well, most of my dad, he really wanted me not to do business. So I wasn't allowed to do business unless for like the, the better schools, like what's it called, like USC or something like that. So. I'm really excited to have an option to be able to go to business school and my alternative for this if it things didn't work out and 
there's something that you should still keep in mind that I should keep in mind for Ivy Day is that if a school does not see your worth, if they do not see how your worth would fit so well into the campus, then maybe it's just really not right for you and you shouldn't want someone that doesn't want you, right? We only want mutual love between you and the school. So if they don't want you, then it's okay. This whole time I was worried about college reactions and then I end up crying for this one. Like for all the other ones, I'm so sorry they've been not eventful, but I think it shows that maybe I didn't care as much about going to them. So I'm gonna have to do a scholarship interview for to compete for the full or the half tuition award, which is a little bit nerve wracking, but you know, I'm trying to get over my whole like interview dis like because it's so important you know and like i understand why they have it because my writing might not be the best so i feel like this is a lot better i gotta get over this flu and book a flight to la and i will keep you guys updated with that okay so usc um scholarship decisions are supposed to come out today and they just came out right now for everyone it was supposed to come out like 40 minutes ago but then now it finally came out and Guess what? Um, I can't open it yet because I'm waiting for my mom, but she's busy right now, so I have to wait for her, and I'm just stressed out because everyone is... We were literally all blowing up the chat, like, when is this gonna come out? And then now it finally came out, but I can't open it, so I'm just... <sighs> I can't! Why are we still waiting? Yeah! Heart been broke so many times, I don't know. Na, 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 na. I have I've just not clicked the email tab yet because I know it's gonna pop up. It's in the email. Okay, ready? So we're gonna click the email tab. Emma, you come here. Sit here. Oh, I got a half tuition. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. No food. Congratulations. Thanks. Oh, congrats. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm okay. Nice. I already had the half because of um yeah national merit finalist, but. But. I don't yeah. think you can stack it, but it's chill. So we're moving steadily into March, and this is when like most regular decisions come out. I did a lot of earlies, which is why they were all kind of like split up in different months. But now we're in the normal timeline of like end of March. The only UC I applied to was UCLA. Ladies and gentlemen, UCLA just came out. They were supposed to come out at 2, and now it's 2.38 Hawaii time. Sorry, not Pacific time, but they came out a little bit delayed, and... Uh, I had to just wake up my mom. She was taking a nap and I know she's really tired But so my dad told me not to wake her up But my mom said that she wanted me to wake her up So I just decided that we're just gonna wake her up and she's getting ready and then she'll come out and then Ta-da! Okay, so I made this shirt like late January early Feb I got it and it says I'm getting in obviously so it's like a law of attraction shirt. I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction. I use it a lot often. I'm really happy with where my life is right now. So I'm, I feel pretty confident about the law of attraction. I didn't think of making it earlier, so I didn't get to wear it in my other decisions, but I thought that, you know, now it's never too late. So how do y'all feel? Hey. Ooh. Yeah, congratulations. Oh my God, yay. 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 Yeah, congratulations. Yay. What? $10,000. No. <laughs> it says there's a hundred and... Oh, 109,000. No, wow. No, no, no. 109,000 students applied. <laughs> Kate, congratulations. Oh, yay. Okay, Dear Kate, congrats. It's our pleasure to offer you admission for the fall quarter of 2020 for UCLA College of Letters and Science with pre-business economics. Yay. Swag. The only thing is that um, UCLA is really really expensive because I am an no married in mind. Yeah, I'm an out of state student, so it's uh, like 50k and they don't give you scholarship money, so. Good. But thanks for accepting me, guys. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thanks. Okay, now next week, guys. Tomorrow. Oh wait, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow's, Tomorrow's BU. BU, okay? See y'all tomorrow. Okay, it's midnight right now and it's like 6 a.m. Eastern time and that's usually when BU comes out So I stayed up for this my dad stayed up for this. He is a tired boy, but <laughs> You know so Hopefully it says the BU portal is temporarily unavailable for maintenance. It didn't come out yet 
Good morning, guys. It is 7 a.m. I just like shot out of bed. I slept at like 12:30 last night because I was trying to stay up for the decisions because they're supposed to come out at midnight my time, which is 6 a.m. Eastern time. But then there's something wrong with the portal and stuff, so my dad's like, "Okay, you better just go to bed." I like shot up out of bed. I like remember, you know, like how you're like half asleep, and I was like. We gotta go. Okay, yep. so I just checked College Confidential. The decision okay, okay. is out. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, yay. Wow, right? No. <laughs> Where's the money? Nothing. Congratulations. Let me see. Oh, no money? No. Huh. Good job, Gaga. I'm so proud of you. Can I afford it? Can I afford it? BU took me as a business major with a concentration in health and life science. I thought that since it's like the Boston area that like a lot of like the hospitals around there are really good and like the health sector in general so I kind of wanted to check out business with health if I were going to Boston. They gave me no merit and I was low-key sad because I really liked BU so I was like guys but um, turns out since I am a national merit finalist I think they give you $25,000 if you declare them as your first choice so at least I have that. And then of course, what you've all been waiting for was Ivy Day, I'm sure. Guys, it is 1 p.m. Why am I hitting myself? But um, Ivy's, it's Ivy Day and Ivy's just came out like as we speak right now, but I'm waiting for my mom to get over here so that we can open it. <gasps> I am so excited right now. Like I, I live for this stuff. Like I love this stuff so much. Okay. Okay, can we do a thumbnail first? Thumbnail, yeah, you need a, no, 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 no. Just get in the picture and then everyone go like, <laughs> okay, hopefully we got one. Okay, okay, ready? Okay, we're just gonna log in to Penn right now. No, or ah, or do I want to do Harvard first? Oh, congratulations! Stop, stop, stop! You can't just say no that. No matter bro. what, congratulations. Sure. For your courage. Review status update to Harvard. Okay, yeah. Congratulations. No, 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 stop. I didn't get in. I didn't get into Harvard. That's okay. It's chill. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's check Penn now. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get into Penn either. That's oh. okay. No problem. Thank you. Let me go again. No social distance now. <laughs> okay. It's with genuine regret that I blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I feel like my vibe doesn't really fit the Ivies, and I've always like told people that I don't think I would go to an Ivy even if I got in because the vibes at like other schools that I went to are just more me. Well, I mean, I put out those vibes so I understand that I didn't get in. Like that makes sense, you know, so. Oh well, it's fine. I got rejected to both of my Ivies, but honestly, it's fine. I like, I don't think I really, really wanted to go because I didn't even like feel sad and I didn't even cry over it so I was like okay you didn't really want this that much and honestly I'm really happy that the people who really wanted to go to Ivy's went and I'm glad that I didn't take that position from someone else because I know that some people take it really hard on themselves if they didn't get in but I'm really happy with which schools that I already got into and yeah that's pretty much the end of this video Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this type of content, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you when I post. I'm gonna be doing like a stats video and where I end up deciding to go to and why and just like, I don't know, other stuff like that. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. I'm really excited to be sharing like this whole like new chapter of my life of college and I've like started talking in like group chats for schools and it's just all really, really exciting. I love this process and I always watch it on YouTube and I can't believe that I'm, I'm literally one of those people now. So <laughs> thanks for watching guys. I definitely have a lot to think about regarding these because there are a lot of really awesome schools. So thanks guys for taking me and for loving on me and I love you back. If you're a fellow senior watching this too, best wishes as you make your decisions and comment down below if you already know. I'm excited to hear where you guys are going or if you're a junior or just like anyone in high school thinking about college, don't worry too much about it. Make sure you get your extracurriculars in. Study hard for whatever you can do. Just always be the best you that you can be and that's literally all you really can do. If you guys want to stay more updated with me, you can follow me on my Instagram right here. I forget. I can never remember which side. Maybe this side. I post a lot of updates on my Instagram story and I do a bunch of like fashion stuff kind of. Oh, you can message me on there if you have any questions and stuff and I'll try to get back to you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.